he was a wonderful man, and uh, both he and Bill Paley, who were the founders of this company. Uh, I didn't have that much dealings with them in those days, uh, but when I wrote uh, my books, uh, this just in, and later I wrote a book about Face the Nation, who uh, Face the Nation was the was the uh, child of Frank Stanton. He's the one who created that broadcast. And I had some long uh, conversations. Uh, Mr. Paley by then had passed on, but I had long conversations with Frank Stanton. And before he died, I did have some conversations uh, with Mr. Paley. They, they were really giants. They were titans. Uh, Stanton, and they were so different. That's what was the interesting thing about it. I mean, uh, Bill Paley was like a circus ringmaster. He was this great impresario. He was the guy who traveled with the jet set went out and got all these stars from the other networks, like Jack Benny, come to work at CBS. Stanton is a guy who ran the store. They never socialized. They didn't really like each other very much. Uh, but together, uh, they created something that was, was bigger than both of them. And CBS would never have come to be had it not been for both of them, not, not just one of them. Uh, Stanton uh, represented CBS to the government, which was a very important thing. People were still sorting out what parts of the First Amendment uh, applied to television. Even some broadcasters were not sure they were covered by the First Amendment in the way that uh, uh, newspapers were. Stanton really uh, caused even broadcasters to have a new appreciation and understanding of what the First Amendment was. And, and Paley, uh, was just this this giant, this guy with this with this great vision, and and they uh, they're the ones that created what became known as the Tiffany Network. Well, we felt we were very lucky. Uh, you know, uh, we didn't go fishing with Frank Stanton and Bill Paley, but but they wanted a first class news department. They thought it brought prestige. Uh, that allowed them to make money on the entertainment programs. Now, mind you, we were not always on the same page. There would be disagreements, as there always are. But for the most part, both of those men were very strong supporters, not only of the First Amendment, but of the news department. In some ways, uh, they thought that a prestigious news department, uh, if they had that, then sometimes uh, they didn't feel bad about making a lot of money on some television shows if you know what I mean. They thought they were performing a great public service, uh, but they thought it also uh, gave them leeway uh, on, on the entertainment front.